it's been over three months since we updated the top 10 players with the highest kill points in rise of kingdoms and on the previous version of this list not a single player had broken the 50 billion kill point mark and in this video six players have already crossed that threshold so today we're going to take another look at the top 10 highest kill point players in rise of kingdoms but first what's going on guys cheers i got a little rug here in the room so that way hopefully the audio is a little better maybe a little bit less uh a little bit less reverb i guess i don't know anyway let's jump right into the list with number 10 and that is none other than vc fo x or is it fo do you pronounce the x i really don't know but this player used to go by the name of fo x vn since then they've obviously changed their name and they're coming in with 42 billion 54 million 351 thousand kill points and if we take a look at the breakdown you could see that a vast majority of those kill points are tier five units which is absolutely insane now this player is in kingdom 2489 rocking the ottoman empire they're currently in the gold league for champions of olympia they have 51 arc Cyrus wins out of 65 which is actually pretty insane and since they updated the governor profiles to show lost kingdom victories it looks like they have one participation with no autarks obviously not that many kvks have even even occurred since the autark system has been implemented so most players are probably going to have a zero here but you can see that they're sitting at 450 million power which is actually insane but if we take a look at their highest power ever they hit the 666 baby 666 million which is absolutely ridiculous we have 260 million dead troops their alliance currently has uh two stars from kvk so nice stuff there and if we take a look at their commander view we could see that we have Heraclius as the drill master iron guard Yanziska okay we have Nevsky and Justinian as the constable and charge captain respectively we also have Zhang Yu over here not sure why he would be the ranger but it is what it is okay we obviously have a little bit of garrison action and some rally action over here this player probably can do it all and that's how they've gotten such an insane amount of kill points and we are unable to see any of their talents unfortunately but they do have an album and here we can take a look uh we've got it looks like three different accounts here it looks like this is from when the uh, alliance was in 1556 so it looks like he migrated and perhaps that's why his new alliance uh only has two wins in kvk this may or may not be him i have no idea looks like we've got a little bit of uh correspondence with Goodfather, which we're actually going to go over later in the video so stay tuned for that and here we have an unbelievable amount of giga chads they are all different names so surely these are all different players but the fact that they all match is really cool and notice 750,000 gems just chilling bro and look at the billions of resources oh my god I see these are Osiris League uh wins right here uh that's how you get this city skin if I'm not mistaken the fact that they all match it does look cool it looks super sick also this must have been a while ago because look at that look at that power Jeez, he has powered up bro anyway moving on to number nine we have none other than CG hi I that I, I that probably is not how you say it but this player is also in Kingdom 2480 and rocking the Germany civilization which you should be if you are in between kvks you can also see here we have 49 out of 55 Arc of Osiris wins and uh one lost kingdom participation but no autark if we take a look at the alliance they have four victories in their belt they were the season six champion of Osiris League which is why you've got this uh little one over here so super cool Alliance banner that's for sure this happened uh this past December so a few months ago but number nine is coming in at 42 billion 446 million 717 thousand kill points and again we see over 30 billion of those are tier five units alone so they're only beating out foe by about 400 million kill points which for players like this isn't honestly that much which is kind of crazy currently they're sitting at 233 million power and if we take a look at their more info you could see that their highest power ever was 321 million with 
168 million dead troops jumping into the commander view we could see a lot of commanders that we might expect here so we see uh the heraclius over here with the tanky stats obviously this is a garrison commander then we have the Boudica henry combination this is for rallies and we have the nevsky okay moctezuma over here big chillin okay my guy has him expertise which is probably why he's using him for barb damage i guess because he's a peacekeeping mightiest governor commander again i'm still shocked that lilith ever even did this anyway unfortunately we are unable to see the talents for these commanders and there is no album to speak of moving on to number eight we have luna from kingdom 1647 currently sitting at 44 billion 829 million 434 thousand kill points with over 35 billion of those kill points being from tier five units alone currently they're sitting at 182 million power rocking the germany civilization we're probably going to see that quite a bit in this video and they're in the platinum champions of olympia league that's interesting i i guess more people are playing champions of olympia these days that's good to see i'm glad people are enjoying it luna has 50 52 out of 61 arc of osiris wins which is a crazy good record and once again no autark that is understandable i would say uh, their highest power ever was 211 million power with 49.6 million deads so the previous two on this list clearly have many more dead units than the luna account over here but that could just mean more field fighting on the part of luna their alliance right now currently has four wins under their belt for kvk of course it looks like they are just back to back to back winning these in 2022 that is pretty impressive coming over to the commander view we can see uh, a bunch of uh, what is this what is this hello uh, are i what what why hello excuse me what is going on here luna can you help explain this to me so we have a charlemagne an un unprecedented charlemagne expertise as the charge captain okay we have the wrong joan of arc gathering okay typically epic joan is for is for gathering here we've got legendary joan gathering we have Boudica prime as the drill master we have cpo africanus prime as the uh, iron guard and we have Nevsky as the constable. Looks like a lot of players use Nevsky as the constable. Of course, Moctezuma also expertise over here as the ranger. So these wells are definitely running out of commanders to expertise, it seems like, because we're seeing more and more expertise to Moctezumas and crazy stuff. So I don't know what is going on here. Honestly, crazy. Uh, if we take a look at the album, I don't know if this has changed at all since the previous episode. Oh, dear stranger, I am Luna, a cat who lives on the moon. Please please click likes on my album I only need two likes yours and mine I have already liked now you are the only one left so I I mean there's a hundred and sixty eight other people who already liked it before you I I feel like I'm obligated to like it let's just like like, like I, I mean we we should probably do that yeah I don't know and here we have some sort of oh did these players get married or something that's that's kind of that's kind of cute it's a love story I don't know I'm not sure what's happening here but uh overall this entire album is is adorable this is not the album uh that you would expect from a player who is in the top 10 highest killers in rise of kingdoms okay but regardless this is Luna's second time I believe making it on this list coming in at number seven we have the achievers X in kingdom 1034 currently sitting at 45 billion 533 million 989 thousand kill points with over 35 billion of which are tier five units this player is currently rocking the France civilization at 183 million power and we can see here that they are currently in the champion or above league of champions of Olympia we have some real champions of Olympia lovers on this list here and they have 33 out of 44 arc of Osiris wins currently not participated in the lost kingdom or kvk since they started tracking the autark data and we can see that if we jump into the more information section that they used to be at 512 million power they have 195 million dead troops which is definitely getting up there uh it's one of the higher numbers on the list so far from deads if we take a look at their current alliance they have six of the kvk victories and their most recent one was again from july see 
siege of orleans so yeah i don't i don't know what uh i don't know what's what's going on here maybe i'm missing something very obvious but while this may seem like a newcomer to the list in fact if you pay attention to the id on the previous version of this list this player's name was jend ankling which also used to be good father so this is the remains of good father's account and we know that good father was the one responsible for a vast majority of these kill points good father used to be if i'm not mistaken the highest kill point player in the game back when they used to play it it's my understanding that this account has changed hands obviously and also that's why they have changed their name multiple times and also why they are so far away from their highest power ever okay that explains the deads that explains the massive loss in power and why they've only gained about 2 billion kill points since the last episode of this series so not much has happened with this account I mean obviously 2 billion kill points is a lot for most players but regardless um this this account you know you, you, Goodfather was just so dominant in the kill point space that his legacy remains on this list even after its activity has sharply declined jumping into the the album we can see that they have multiple accounts we have the achiever z the achiever v the achievers one or i and all of them have you know a couple billion kill points over 10 billion kill points for all of them except for this one which is coming in close not sure what the story is here like if this is uh like what 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 is what is going on here maybe like this was like their main and then they like ended up buying good fathers again I, I don't know i don't know what's going on here you can let me know if there is some lore behind the achievers and their string of accounts because i have no idea what's going on there but if we jump over to the commander view we could see once again a player who is literally bored they have nothing else who expertise besides useless garbage like Moctezuma who is obviously their ranger they also have the Suleiman tax officer who's five percent gathering speed for Suleiman what are you doing why obviously uh they don't really care too much about gathering there may be an argument to be made about Suleiman in the future though so I might cover that in an upcoming uh video Suleiman may not be as useless as he uh has been previously but it is what it is we have Tarek Ibn Ziyad we have uh Juge Leong as the constable we have Huo as the drill master and Nevsky as the iron guard these are all the prime suspects that you would expect on this list pretty much moving on to number six we have none other than GT anonymous baby that is what this translates to according to Google translate uh and I think that probably is relatively accurate given the photograph over here uh but this player is from kingdom 1960 they were previously known as GT leopard so that name probably sounds more familiar to you at least to those of you who watch these videos because this player pretty much is always on the top 10 list of highest kill points and they are coming in at 46 billion 102 million 778 thousand kill points and we have over 36 billion kill points of tier 5 units alone currently rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization in Kingdom 1960 let me ask you guys you know I think Ottoman Empire is a pretty common civilization to use for players who are obviously waging PvP war what if we see this upcoming civilization right now we people think it's the Mayan civilization okay so I'm gonna go with that what if the upcoming Mayan civilization has 5% normal attack damage bonus pair that with smite damage commanders and we could see an entire shift in the civilization meta I think that could be crazy mark my words you heard it here first anyway they're currently in the gold league of uh Champions of Olympia and they have 63 out of 68 Orca of Osiris wins with three championship titles obviously because they are in kingdom 1960 this player has not taken part in a lost kingdom event starting from 530 so that is interesting they have gone up about 3 billion kill points uh, since the last episode in this series so I don't know what's going on with this player's account but they're currently at 515 million power and we can see that their highest power ever was 612 million power with 180 million dead troops that is crazy now if we come into the commander view we could see that they're rocking Cao Cao over here as the ranger totally makes sense okay we have Huo as the drill master we have Guan Yu as the iron guard Zhang Yu as the constable 
and Nevsky as the charge captain this is a really interesting lineup here I typically would expect a player like this to not really be relying so heavily on their Zangyu anymore because I do feel like there's just better options these days most players have replaced Zangyu with Huo and you could make the argument that you might run three Cav armies but I would make the counter argument that with Liu Che in the game right now I feel like you definitely can be running two infantry armies instead of three cavalry armies so I don't know what's going on there obviously Liu Che has a way more powerful active skill than Zangyu so yeah not sure what's up there but we can't see anything about these commanders it's all hidden however surely they are all expertise and if we jump over here to the album we can see an album that we've seen uh before I've showed this picture specifically because this is like straight out of a movie this looks like the type of boat that Jordan Belfort would be on as he tells the U.S government to get the F off of his uh yacht we have a bunch of vehicles here that are absolutely gorgeous and brother listen hey if I can just have like if if I could just have like one percent of what one of these vehicles costs that would probably change my life in the short term so I mean that's kind of that's kind of like crazy if you know what I'm saying I don't know what the make and model of these vehicles are because I am not a, a a car guy I think that's a Lamborghini perhaps cancel me in the comment section below if it's not this is obviously a BMW uh we got like a Ferrari over here that looks like a Ferrari for sure I'm sure all the car people are uh impressed by this lineup and surely uh they are beautiful and I really feel like we don't have to go over the 60 GT Alliance uh banner but we probably should okay they are the four-time Ark of Osiris Champion League winner season four five six and seven four years in a row winning Osiris League which is unbelievable and also they just won three months ago the Warriors unbound KBK obviously they have uh eight KBK victories under their belt so they have actually won a KBK since this player has been tracking the Lost Kingdom data so I don't know if this player maybe has didn't play in that KBK or like what's going on there did this player quit is that why they changed their name from GT Leopard to GT uh, anonymous baby I don't know what's going on there is there drama there that I don't know about I don't keep up with drama in rise of kingdoms very much so let me know in the comment section below moving on to number five on the list we have GT Arvix of kingdom 1960 now this player is no stranger to being uh the topic of YouTube videos they obviously first became super popular by just having multiple mega powerful accounts and of course for being an absolute savage warrior they are currently sitting at over 50 billion kill points 50 billion 331 million 750 thousand kill points to be precise and they have almost 40 billion kill points for tier 5 units they're currently sitting at 386 million power rocking the Ottoman Empire civilization of course if we jump into the more information section we could see that their highest power ever was 823 million with 286 million dead troops that is absolutely ridiculous ladies and gentlemen truly an impressive account and one that you would expect from a player who is so prominent in a kingdom such as 1960 they're currently in the gold league of champions of olympia and they have won 50 out of 55 arc of osiris fights with two Ark of Osiris champion titles under their belt if we jump over to the commander view we can see uh that we have wow some interesting stuff here okay um we see Sunduk, um Matilda Cao Cao those are things that you might expect of course Joan of Arc Tark and Boudicca also things you may expect but we see the Pakal over here which is interesting now I obviously I know that you do the Tark Pakal rally that is a very common infantry rally but usually we don't see both of them on here like it they don't typically that extra stat point typically isn't so crucial out of that uh, rally but here we can see that it is as tanky literally as tanky as they possibly can get it which is really really nice of course we cannot see the talent builds for these commanders jumping over to the album they do not have anything in their album unfortunately and of course they are in the 60 GT Alliance which we have already covered in this video and this is no surprise you are going to constantly see uh, some 60 GT players on this list moving on to number four we have Clubman. now this is a player who has been on these lists for the longest time as long as I can remember uh and Clubman is currently in Kingdom 1175 rocking 50 billion 561 million 980 thousand kill points with 
42 billion kill points of tier five units alone currently rocking the germany civilization at 145 million power in of course mimi's alliance which is quite the twist we're gonna go over that in just a moment here in fact you can see they do not partake in champions of olympia they have zero arc of osiris wins they've never played arc of osiris uh but they do have an autark victory in the lost kingdom so this player looks like they literally only care about kvk they don't care about any other game mode now if we take a look at the more information we could see that their highest power ever was 152 million which it's not far off from where they're at now and that obviously that power is not like insane for a list such as this i mean yes it's high but compared to others on this list who are in the 400 500 million power range that's not that much and only 67 million dead troops so club man has one goal Goal, and that is to field fight in kvk that seems like the main thing that this player does which is i mean hey you got to give them credit bro they've been on this top 10 list for years now and they've maintained under 200 million power i mean it's pretty impressive what they've been able to pull off consistently here in rise of kingdoms if we take a look at the commander view uh we have no information to be shown but we do see obviously minamoto sarka and sunduk and we have henry as the charge captain Boudica as the iron guard and then we have guan yu as the drill master and constable zhang yu so interesting stuff here to be honest uh we don't see i mean obviously this is a rally combination here but uh, i don't know if this is really i mean obviously this player could be a rally lead but it, it, again it just feels like they're more of a field fighter based on the number of dead troops that they have in relation to the number of kill points on the account okay we're talking about a top four a kill point player in the entire game and if we take a look at the album there is nothing there and of course if we take a look at the alliance it is the mimi alliance and they have four kvk wins under their belt here the most recent of which being in june of this year so that's pretty impressive stuff but yeah clubman a kill point legend now we're gonna enter the top three and there's actually four players that we need to discuss now the reason that this is a little bit confusing is because of the accounts that are owned by Mimi okay Mimi is of course famous for having two accounts in the top 10 most powerful players in all of rise of kingdoms both of which being over 1 billion power and one of which is flower of Mimi and the other of which is perfume of Mimi and if you take a look at both these accounts which we know we I have I've interviewed Mimi on this channel if you missed it go ahead and check it out and by the way Mimi if you're watching that was a while ago we probably should do another one a little bit of an update on uh on the Mimi interview perhaps however if you look at flower of Mimi we have 25 billion kill points and if we look at the perfume of Mimi account this has 27.9 billion kill points and if you do the math then in total Mimi between her both accounts has 53 billion 198 million 193 thousand 655 kill points which would put her at number three on this list however I think there's a little bit of debate there okay I think obviously you know it's split across two accounts so whether you want to count that as legitimate or not is up to you but I did want to at least mention it because we do know both these accounts are owned by the same person and therefore that person has 53 billion kill points but if we're only talking about combined kill points on a single account then the real number three is Ahmad Aziz of Kingdom 1960 and this player used to be number one on the list the last time that I made an episode of this series they have been bumped down to number three which honestly is still absolutely insane they've gained about 2.5 billion kill points since the last episode of this series and they're currently sitting at 52 billion 90 million 984 thousand kill points with 41 billion of which being tier 5 units alone they're currently rocking the ottoman empire civilization at 249 million power which is wild now in kingdom 1960 they're actually in the hawks alliance okay so not 60 gt at least not right now I'm, maybe they jump around but the hawks alliance has a eight win streak 
for kvk which is really really nice if we take a look here we have no information for champions of olympia but we see 51 out of 61 arc of osiris wins and no data taken for the autark kvks jumping into the more information section you can see that their highest power ever was 488 million with 187 million dead troops hopping over to the commander view we can see honda tadakatsu as the ranger really interesting stuff there we of course cannot see the talent builds for these commanders unfortunately we can see the drill master Boudica the Iron Guard Guan Yu, Justinian Charge Captain, and the Nevsky Constable. Everyone puts Nevsky as the Constable. You guys remember when this used to be called like Knighthead or something like that? I wonder why they changed it. Anyway, this feels like a uh, a rally leader to me, but honestly, Ahmad Aziz probably does literally everything. Jumping over to the album, we can see uh, a couple of photos that we've already liked. So we've seen these already but nonetheless super impressive performance here from Ahmad Aziz all these photos having over a thousand likes or nearly a thousand likes just oh my god an unbelievable player truly truly legendary in rise of kingdoms and the fact that they are still top three highest skill points in the game is insane moving on to number two on the list is none other than Osno now this player used to go by the name of Osno but it's the same player in kingdom 1365 currently rocking 55,854,773,000 kill points with over 43.5 billion tier five kill points currently sitting at 102 million power not that high to be honest with you guys and they're currently in the JST Alliance now this is obviously a four-time KVK winner but also a one-time Osiris League champion uh, from all the way back in 2021 now this player has actually gained about 8 billion kill points since the last time that I filmed one of these episodes so an insane amount of kill point growth here considering the rest of the players on this list have only gained a, a handful between like two and four billion right so this is a really impressive kill point growth and if we take a look at the more information you could see that the highest power ever was 322 million so quite a significant power drop uh and I'm sure lots of those are part of the 158 million dead troops here we can see that they're in the copper champions of olympia okay so pretty much never plays that 48 out of 55 arco cyrus wins and no autark kvks to speak of at this point in time taking a look at the commander view we don't see any talents but we see mulan as the ranger and we see henry as the charge captain Nevsky as the drill master William as the iron guard really interesting I think that's the first time we've seen William all video and we have Duge Leong as the constable if we jump over to the album we do have a couple of photos here uh looks like we have some enemy elimination if I'm not mistaken here here you can see that they're uh showing off that they are above Ahmad Aziz now that's actually interesting this must be a very old picture because pretty sure his name is always uppercase these days and also a different uh, kingdom for both of them so yeah got a couple of different flexes over here to be honest with you guys and there it is again another enemy elimination numero uno but overall a really uh interesting account they're using a default profile picture I wonder why and finally number one on this list the king of kill points and also in many respects the king of power we have none other than Baba TC Ataturk now this player needs no introduction okay he's on basically every list of power and kill points but last time he was number five on this list and he has rocketed all the way up to number one he went from 44 billion kill points to nearly 56 He's sitting at 55,916,221,000 kill points with 46 billion kill points of tier five units. Talk about kill point growth. If anyone ever doubted Baba for a second, if they thought that him falling to number five was an indication that he was slowing down. Well, as it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, he grew almost 12 billion kill points from the last episode, which is like multiple players on this list combined from a growth perspective which is unbelievable okay he is currently rocking the ottoman empire civilization in kingdom 2489 which you may remember 
from earlier in this video we talked about foe and high so same kingdom as them and sitting at 1 billion 78 million power totally unbelievable account I absolutely love covering the changes of his account over the years of course that we've been doing this here on my channel but we see he's in the silver champions of Olympia looks like he maybe played it a little bit more in the past not so much lately but I'm actually pretty impressed that a lot of players on this list are playing Champions of Olympia. Maybe I need to give it another go. Maybe there's something here that I'm missing. We see 49 out of 60 Ark of Osiris wins and of course zero Autark titles, but a win for the Lost Kingdom. If we take a look at his alliance, we see two wins for kvk man this alliance has three players in the top 10 list and kingdom 1960 also has three players on this list that's an impressive lineup anyway coming over to the more information section we could see that his highest power ever was 1 billion 302 million with 290 million dead troops brother oh my god he is the highest on this list obviously it is always impressive to see the number of dead units here jumping into the commander view we have of course Juge Leong as the drill master Guan Yu as the iron guard we have Tarek as the charge captain and Trajan as the constable really interesting stuff there we've seen a lot of Guan Yu in this video honestly the Guan Yu has been on most players commander view which just goes to show that he still is going strong as one of the best choices for inventory and finally if we jump over to the album these are all photographs I believe that we have already seen before and my god that is three Mercedes Benz this looks like he's perhaps renting space for these vehicles right like this is lot 322 it looks like he he probably had to like rent an extra lot 318 because his car collection is just like growing over time which I, I mean obviously you know Baba Baba is a baller we know that no explanation needed okay anyway guys that's gonna do it for this video if you made it all the way to the end please drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of Kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of Kingdoms video and comment down below who your favorite slayer is on this list of the top 10 or kind of 11 highest skill point players in the game should Mimi count I would love to hear your thoughts down below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace